No continent is immune to the growing impacts of climate change. Across the world, droughts are more severe, floods are increasingly frequent, heat records are falling, and the human cost is rising. And with just over 100 days before the world gathers in Dubai for COP28, both the science and common sense are telling us that our collective response to climate change is nowhere near good enough. These are the facts and these are the realities. They need to be fixed and they need to be fixed now. First, the international community must come through with the $100 billion pledge they made over a decade ago. I will continue to press and press hard the donor countries to ensure delivery no later than COP28, meaning this must be delivered by November 2023. The world needs to recognize that success for Africa means success for the world. And that is why I am so determined to make COP28 a COP of unity over division, a COP of solidarity over going it alone. COP28 must be the COP that ends the divide between the North and South, bridges that trust gap and builds a platform for progress through unity, through action and through partnership.